Where we going? Man, look. You know the nigga Jerry told on his brother? What? Yes, man. Did this nigga Miles. He ran with some out of town niggas. They talking about they about to take over. Get the fuck out of here. Niggas ain't doing that shit down here. I don't know about that, man. What the fuck you mean you don't know? You want us to kill some niggas on some he said, she said shit? You gonna kill niggas for less than that. What the fuck you talking about? I'm just saying, bro. You don't think this shit eventually gonna catch up to us? Give us a fuck. Nigga, the Lord don't care if we kill one or seven niggas. I think we going to hell anyway. Fuck it. We might well live this shit up. <sighs> Bugging. You know what, man? Fuck that. I'm about to take you home, man. You ready for this shit, man? Dog and all, but I knew you was never ready for the game. You care too much. My therapist said I don't have a care in the world. There. What the fuck you doing some therapy? I'm trying to get my shit together, man. I've been fucked up my whole life. I've always had a bad temper, bad reasoning skills. I found that through my therapist, I was adopted. My real parents were all fucked up. I hired a uh, private investigator. Found out my mom was a lawyer who got raped by a serial killer. She wanted to put me up for adoption, and she told her private investigator that the only reason that he let her live is because he wanted his legacy to move on. He raped her for two days. He wanted a kid and she was the lawyer that marched for the anti-abortion law, so he knew she had me. Just don't be telling that nigga I'm motherfucking serious now. <laughs> she never man. Feel me? I'll come fuck with you, man. My man C Rock, somebody got to die. If I go, you got to go. Somebody got to die. Let the gunshots blow. Somebody got to die. Nobody got to know that I killed your ass in the mix. Somebody got to die. If I go. It felt good to finally get out of the house for a change. Get dressed up. Look pretty, smell good. Ooh, baby, and the food, it was so amazing. They made the volcano with onions. Oh, well, no, onions out of volcano. However that goes. And then the heart-shaped rice. And then him tossing the eggs. <laughs> I was like so scared. Like, what if it would've got on anybody? Oh my God, baby, I love it. I appreciate you so much. Why would... Why would somebody like you want to be with somebody like me? Because I'm lost without you. I mean, you are a part of me that I can never get from the streets. It's going to be a lot of rain. Yeah, I know. It's going to be a lot of dog days. Dog nights. For every dog night, that's a bright moon. But I need you to be that light that shines through for me.
really? All of that? That's all that? Yeah, but like, you put it all in the damn. What you want in a Louis V? All my shit in a damn trash bag? Yes, a Louis V would be nice. I know you got it anyway. Right. Well, yeah. well, what, Rabbi? Well, you got your stuff. I'm sure you got stuff to do. I ain't trying to bore you in my life. Look, it's I'm good. good. We cool. We could still be friends. Look, I know for you, it's all or nothing, but regular people have regular friendships, okay? Me too. I ain't regular. I think I know that already. No, like, for real, like, I'm fucked up. Here we go. Look, I've been seeing a therapist. And she basically said I'm a psychopath and I need help. Really? I've been seeing her like once a week. Shit, I even told Mark I'm out the game. Yeah. Surprise? I'm surprised you told Mark, but I'm not surprised you out the game. Rabbi, you always been torn. I can see it on your face. Every time you killed a nigga, you really didn't want to do it. So being around Mark, I had no choice. I mean, if it makes you feel any better, I can come with you to your therapy session. Word? Yeah, of course. What about your man? I heard you in love or whatever. <laughs> I don't know about all that love shit, but I mean, he cool. He all right. I heard he like a regular, like, what do you call him, like, like a... Like a citizen or something. Is that what you niggas call regular people? Non-criminals? <laughs> a regular citizen? <laughs> I appreciate you. I appreciate you, too. What? <laughs> Damn, Robbie. You used to get mad at me for three things. Now you whisper all this nasty shit in my head. I got it from you. You wouldn't do anything anyway. Right here. Right here? Right now. Shit, I'm about that. Let's go. You ain't about it. All right, let's see. I'll go in the back seat right now. And you gonna... Mm. And I'm gonna follow you. And I'm gonna make it happen. Whatever All right, you want. let's see. Come on. You all coming out feisty and everything. Mm. Damn, like, uh, your man gotta keep a tab on you now? My man. Well, you know, it's it's not even right. It's complicated. <laughs> Don't give me that complicated shit. <laughs> you know what? I used to laugh at that when I saw it on Facebook, but the shit is real. How you go with this superstitious again? You know, how is it real? In your horoscopes? <laughs> You know, you could be fucking with someone and you know they're bad for you, but you keep doing it because that's your only option. Well, she ain't had that problem anymore, right? Oh, so now you're my option? <laughs> Damn, there you go again. I could be. You know, the thing is, I'm more comfortable with what I got. You've always been a good dude, but the man I got, he's enough. <laughs> Damn, so I ain't enough? I mean, you know, I have to share him and all, but you know, it's not all that bad. Wait a minute, wait, wait, so you telling me you had to share him to have all of me? Dig, you know I wouldn't have all of you. At least I know with him, I do. You don't know that. You know, he, he gave me the choice of walking if I wanted. I chose to be with him, so, hey, I respect that more than dudes cheating on me. Damn, okay, all right. Come on now, Deep. I'm not trying to go back down that road with you. I'm not. What, bro? I thought we had some good times. What are you talking about? We did. To the worst day of my life. Oh, gotta bring that back up, right? Hell yeah, nigga. That was the worst fucking day of my life. Still is. 
Can we uh, change the subject? That's what you want to talk about? It's over. Asia. That's why I was going to name her. You know what? You you knew I, I didn't want to have that baby anyway. Like you knew what you was getting into. You knew it wasn't ready. And you know I'll never do that again. You know I'd rather have a piece of Mark than all of you. Mark. Try to do it, Mark. We always overlap at home. Mark, um, can I borrow your car, please? Come on, give me the keys. I really need What's that wrong with you? Nothing. I, I just need to borrow your car. Okay, cool. Come on. Come what? on, what? give me the keys. What? Nothing. I'll tell you later. Just give me the keys. I really need to borrow you. Okay, what the fuck you done did, Trish? <sighs> Nothing. Can I please borrow your car? Can you hand me the keys? What? Please. Listen, what is... Oh my god. Why you always trying to hide shit from me? Especially when you know I'm the only motherfucker who can help you. Oh, I was scared. What was your plan? To put the motherfucker in my back seat? I don't know. Yeah, great idea. Nigga going straight to jail. Come on, Mark. Just give her a break. Can't you see it was just a mistake? A mistake? A mistake? What was a mistake? Her shooting the motherfucker? Or her trying to cover it up on her own. Look. Which one was it? I mean, this was kind of your fault. Anyway. What? What? Yeah, I came to you. I was trying to tell you about Buddy and his other girl and how it made me feel. And you told me to do whatever I had to do to make me feel better. And Mark, killing that bitch made me feel better. Yo, you know what? I handle this shit. Fuck it. <sighs> Nothing out here today. Single. Had a camera. I ain't doing with Trish no more. Gotta be somebody out there just creeping. Oh shit. Well, since you're a photographer, I have a bikini. A what? What's up, man? Look, I need your help on something, bro. Yeah, I tell you, I don't want to do that no more, man. I'm about to get back in school. I'm trying to better myself. Look, I get all that. I got you on that. But I need you on this one, bro. Yo, I don't want to do that no more. I'm done killing people. You ain't got to worry about that part. Hey, look, it's cleanup time, bro. Motherfucker already dead. Oh, man. 
You need change, man. Change? Come on, bro. I need you on this one, man. Look, I don't trust another motherfucker but you. Only you. I can't do the shit by myself, Rap. It's a high, bro. Can't do it. Damn, bro. So you just gonna leave a nigga hanging? No, I'm trying to live right. Live right? So you think the Lord gonna forgive you for the other 15 murders you already committed? I don't know, but I can try to see that I don't reach 16. Reach? Come on. What the fuck? So you just gonna leave a nigga hanging? That's it, right? Same motherfucker who taught you how to get money, how to run these streets. Come on, man. Get the fuck out of here, man. You know what? It was you that taught me all that, huh? It was you that that taught me how to murk a nigga for money. It was you that told me how to steal a nigga money and steal his dope. That was you. It was you that taught me how to steal a homeboy's girl. It was you that showed me that I can't trust another female. That's why it's so hard for me to fall in love again. That was you. Taught me so much, man. You know what? Sometimes I wish I never met you, bro. Yeah? Yeah, I would have been I would have been way better off. <laughs> Alright, nigga. I doubt that. Nigga, you was a killer before you were born. Nigga, your daddy was a killer. So I had shit to do with you being one, nigga. My daddy, nigga? Fuck. Your daddy. Fuck you, nigga. Nigga, fuck you too, so nigga. Take your ass on there. You can't me, man. Fuck your crab ass. Fuck take your ass on there. My daddy, nigga? Hey. Hey, thank you. <laughs> How you feeling? As best I can, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Tiff, how do you do it? How do you deal with my brother's lifestyle? This shit is ridiculous. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, all the shit he does, the women, you know, the late nights out. This shit is a lot. Girl, don't nobody get no free lunch. And what does that mean? What I mean is, everybody has to go through something, okay? No matter what it looks like on the outside. Shoot, you see rich people all the time. And you think they the happiest. Got they housewives sitting in the house all day, never having to work a real job. But I bet she lonely. Yeah, but she rich though. Yeah, she rich, but it's so much shopping you could do. What, credit cards become your best friend? <laughs> Come on, man, they probably spend so much time apart when they finally get in the same room at the same time. It's probably really awkward. Yeah, right. Then on the other hand, you got this man that, that treats you like shit, man. Insecure, jealous. Yo, it's so many things that can make you unhappy, man. You just gotta figure out what unhappiness you could deal with. And I should've handled that situation a lot better. Yeah, look, Trish, there ain't no need to be crying over no spilled milk, okay? You can't change it. It happened. So don't even think about it. I need you to do me a favor, though. Don't hold nothing back from you, brother. No, for real. Yo, that man can fix anything in these streets. I'm telling you, it's like magic, girl. It's crazy. I I know that. And, like, I've been getting this shit all my life. Yeah. And Mark has always been there to get me out. Every time. Always will. Yeah, no, I really love them. They're great. You did a good job. What about this one? <laughs> that one? <laughs> I don't know about that one. This one? <laughs> Listen, you know, it's the camera. Right, know? okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> that one is the best.
That one's the best one. What about that one? That one's fire right there. Oh my gosh, I love this. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. So, um. Yeah. How are you gonna pay for these? Oh, they're not free. I mean, you think I got this camera for free? Well, I don't really got any money. Um, how about this? Let me brush these up. Let me think about it. Mm -hmm. So we can work out. But you got no money? Well, how much do you want? I mean, usually they give me about an hour. But I mean, I could do this $150, 200 Well, how about this? Since you did such a good job, I'll make it up to you. Make it work. Time. Where are we going? Oh. You know, thanks for the flowers, but what do you want? Well, you know, I can't uh, make up for what we did. What we did? Well, you know what I mean. What, you know, what I did. You know, I appreciate the effort, but it's not enough. <laughs> you know, and so you trying to act like it's all my fault? Pretty much. <laughs> you know what? See, I came out here in a good mood, too. I actually came out here to chill, but... Since you come out here all on your arrogance, let's talk about how you trying to rewrite history, Portia. What are you talking about? <laughs> come on, Portia. You wasn't ready to be no mother either. Yes, I was. <laughs> really? Really? What about, oh, I'm 18, huh? I haven't finished school yet. I got I to gotta get my books, huh? Oh, my daddy's a cop. He'll kill me. You remember that, huh? What my friends think, huh? Remember that? I knew you didn't want to have that damn baby. Because you ain't tell nobody. What does that have to do with it? I was embarrassed. Come on, embarrass my ass. Plus, I got two baby mamas. I know what it's like with a girl who's going to have a baby and not going to have a baby. If any bitch get pregnant and she tell anybody besides her, her ratchet ass friends, that she pregnant and she having that baby. No matter what that nigga say. Yeah, so. <laughs> you can act all high and mighty and put it all on me. If it makes you feel better. Huh. But you know, it wasn't all on me, huh? <laughs> Hell, I was disappointed in you, my damn self. Tell me one thing, though. No. What did you do with the body? I know you. Come on. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. What are you talking about? I know you. Tell me what you did with the body. So what did you do with it? You eating a motherfucker. Are you serious? You can turn a blind eye to all that crazy shit he does, or you can embrace it and become a part of it. 
Ain't no such thing as a halfway crook. This ain't no such thing as halfway crooks. Scared to death and scared to look. They shook. This ain't no such thing as halfway crooks. Scared to death and scared to look. Living the life that Somebody got to die. If I go, you got to go. Somebody got to die. Let the gunshots blow. Somebody got to die. Nobody got to know that I killed your ass in the mix. Yeah. Somebody got to die. If I go, you got to go. Somebody got to die. Let the gunshots blow. Somebody got to die. Nobody got to know that I killed your ass in the mix. Uh. Yeah. Filling clips, he explained our situation uh -huh. Precisely so we know exactly what we facing Some kid named Jason in the Honda station Wagon was bragging about how much loot and crack he stacked uh -huh. Rock had a grip so they formed up a clique A small crew around the time I was locked up with you True indeed, but your nigga let me proceed